Well, good morning, guys. Um, we're here at Creedy Lakes today. Um, it's an absolutely scorching sunny day. It's about half past seven in the morning, and it's still, I mean, the sun is absolutely beating through the trees. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lovely day here. Um, now, I'm here to talk you through uh, what we're doing today. Now, the first thing to say is that we've already still um, nicked a bite. Uh, I had a small common, uh, it's only about 10 pounds. Only a little one. It goes to prove that everything's ready to go. Uh, just saw some fish bubbling. So a solid bag, already tied up, clipped onto the rod and just flicked out. Resulting in a long, lean, uh, creepy common. Um, and I just sort of talked to you a little bit about that because it leads into what I'm going to do next, which is um, showing you how I have lots of uh, solid bags tied up ready to go. And you can see my little PVA bucket here. Now this is something I carry with me all the time. Um, it's full of Hinders uh, little gems and mini combo pellets. I don't tend to put any liquids or anything in there. Obviously I would add those afterwards with the PVA. So you can see lots of different uh, micro pellets in there. Perfect for packing that down nice and tight in a PVA bag. Um, and you can see I've got some ripped ones already tied up. One's there. And then we've got one there, and I've also got some some mesh bags as well, and that's my rig. Um, so I have that tied up. So this is the one that caught the fish this morning. Um, now, normally, I would have this fished with a topper, um, just to make it stand out a little bit, um, or a small little bright pop-up. But because those are bandit crew today, what we've done, we've got a boilie, a small pop-up, and I've just trimmed a little tiny little pineapple one down and popped it on top of a, a dumbbell wafter there. Uh, Quill dumbbell wafter. So we'll put that one on. Hopefully it won't split the bait. There's a little bit of a tendency to do that with these. Okay, that's gone on okay. So now we'll find our boily stops. And uh, just pop that on. Now basically this is already obviously not tied to the end of my main line but at the other end of the leader here, drop that into the back, you can see I splice on the end of that a loop, oh there we are, where are we, there we go um, and I can just tie that straight onto my main, uh, main line of my rod and I'm away, so just one snip and tie back on and then we're gone so it's really really easy, you can have lots of these set up for a day's fishing um, and do it all in advance and when you're on the bank you're not actually wasting any time, oops Oh, no, just a duck going on through our lines. There's lots of those about today. So, I'm going to show you the PVA bags I use. It's the uh, ESP PVA socks. Again, sorry, the light's not brilliant here today. Obviously, it's, well, it is brilliant. That's part of the problem with the filming. Um, but what I tend to do with one of these, I tend to trim them down a little bit. So I want the, the, the width, but not quite the length. So it's pink. So, we'll drop some pellet into the end of that. Just a little bit, and then we'll try and case our entire rig into there. So I tend to leave the hook bait out, drop the lead into the bottom there. Hopefully that's coming through on camera, and then. slowly fill that up and then just pop our hook bait to one side as well you can use a nice I've got a nice supple braid on that as well and you can worry not worry about that tangling because it's all wrapped up in a nice little package so again dropping those in there making sure that our now you want to make sure this is nice and tight so I'm pushing it all down inside like that and that's probably about enough and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my knee and I'm just going to tap it on my knee to try and push and press all that pellet down and make it nice and tight and then what I'm going to do as you can see I've got that loop there the lip of the bag. I'm just going to lick that. 
and then I'm gonna just twist it like that. Now you can do another couple of things here. You can either just pinch it and hold it, like I'm gonna do, or alternatively, you can pop a bit of PVA tape around that as well, which will make it um, a bit more secure. So just a bit more of a lick, a bit more of a stick round. Keep pinching it. And then that's nice and stuck there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the ends round. So we'll just push that in, like so. Lick one, the inside of it, stick it down with our thumb. Again, pushing it onto the bag, and then turn our bag round again. Like that, push that out, lick that. And again, just push it down with our thumb. And now you can see guys, got a really nice, compact, tight bag. There's our bait sitting on top of all of that. And then all at the other end is the loop. And we just tie that straight onto our main line and we're fishing. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and attach this to my left hand rod and flick it back out again. Off for a bit of a relax in the wind and the ducks, I was able uh, oops. to get some mixers out there and therefore catch this chap. There we go. 22 pound 10, spawned out, a bit scabby, and bashed himself to pieces a bit, but very welcome and an awesome scrap as well. I do pull really, really hard up here. Um, so just caught on the top. And we're going to slip this one back because the wind's died down and we think we might have another chance here. There we go. Cracking day so far. Oh. Hi guys, um, we're into the afternoon here at Creedy. It's about half past three. Um, we haven't had a bite for about an hour or so, but I think it's possibly looking good for one. The wind is, is really whipping in towards us. So fingers crossed. But the thing I wanted to talk to you quick briefly about was not being afraid to ring the changes. Um, I've just been for a walk round um, and I've seen that there aren't many fish being come out, come out at all, if any. Um, everyone's got very dry mats. But the thing that struck me as I was walking around is that everybody is fishing the same method. They're all fishing on the deck and they're all fishing with boilies or putting a spot over the top. Um, we've had only one fish on the bottom today, which was on a solid bag when we first turned up. And as soon as the sun got on the water, all the fish came up. Um, so we've had, we've had another two on zigs and had one off the top as well. Um, so it strengths to me that you really shouldn't be afraid to, to change things around. You're only here for a few hours, even five minutes of doing something as opposed to doing something else can, can bring you a bite. Um, especially on a venue like this, which is, is very shallow. Um, and is likely to uh, to change the fish's behaviour is likely to change an awful lot with with the conditions. Um, so yeah, that was it really. Just to uh, just a very quick one, just to say that you know don't be afraid to try zigs. And for example, if if they are on the you know you, they're not on the bottom, I see a lot of people will try and um, put a zig out. Well, if they're not on the bottom, they're not on the bottom. So you know it makes better sense to put all three on zigs and vary the depth slightly or vary your colours. Um, and see if you can buy a bite that way as opposed to just you know sitting it out and being stubborn and, and with the bottom rods uh, but there we go anyway uh, so hopefully this afternoon we'll we'll bring another bite we, we've still got the zigs on now so i think that we've got half a chance all right take care tight lines